I'm just going to share a brief clip from Pamela Popper on misinformation test results and so on, June uh, 4th, I believe. So you can watch the whole thing online if you like. Be there. COVID Pass is agnostic to any COVID-19 test brand or source and can integrate with all global COVID test manufacturers. Now we know the tests are inaccurate, so that warms your heart, yes? During this global uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the world is searching for a secure solution to hold test immunoresponse information and vaccination details. For now and into the future, COVID Pass has been developed to be the world's most secure digital health passport solution. Through unique biometric access, users are allowed access to their health and immunoresponse information. COVID Pass safely facilitates safe return to work and life. Again, this is, a, this is allowing you to live on the planet, is what is really being said. COVID Pass is equipped with military grade encryption and has more than 2.2 quintillion variations of codes which securely corresponds to certified tests, all of which can do something different based on the details of the scanner, user ID, time and date, device type, and how many times they have been scanned. Welcome to the new world. Of course, I've mentioned before, we're gonna get, well, get ready to welcome these people to an entirely new world sim. So that's what we have to look forward to. And I guess for the people who are staring at the news every night going, yep, we've got a pandemic. It's really terrible. I know the tests are accurate, the deaths are forged, but it's really terrible. I better wear my mask. People who don't wear their mask are bad people. Um, I guess they'll just sign up and they'll get chipped and they'll get permission to live and think it's just swell. Um, I don't know what to think about people like that, you know? I don't like to talk negatively about people in general, but it's hard not to talk about the people who are doing this to others in negative terms. I have no fond thoughts about Fauci for sure. And it's hard to understand how somebody can actually take any of this seriously and ignore the bigger thing that's going on, which is the taking away of our rights in a major, major, major sort of way. All right, that's all for today. Pass this on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching it. Um, and I'll be back to you tomorrow with more news. Smart lady. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope you enjoyed that.